Hey guys, RTT back here for that video guys. Today, we're going ahead and talking Apple. We got some news reports for you, mainly revolved around the Apple Watch and the M1 chips. But guys, as you know, we got news. Let's get right into it. Starting off right away, guys, Mac Watch, sorry, uh, Watch OS 7.3.1 has now officially been released. Now, with the release of 7.3.1, Pretty much the only minor update because this is only a couple weeks after 7.3 came out. This is just going to go ahead and fix the issue with Apple Watches that go into power reserve mode. When you put it in power reserve mode, there was issues with charging it. There was issues with it glitching out and messing up. So this is just a little minor update that came out last night to go ahead and fix that issue. So if you're having any issues with that, make sure you go ahead and update to 7.3.1. Apple has hopefully fixed that issue. Um, this is for the uh, Apple Watch Series 5 and SE. Uh, I currently have the 6 and I currently have the 3. So I don't have the uh, 5 or SE. I've not had this issue, but if you have this issue, there is your quick fix. Next news story we have for today, guys, is going to go ahead and be the M1 chip laptops, M1 chip MacBooks. Uh, actually went ahead, they fixed this issue right here. So this was an issue with an application um, on the M1 MacBooks, which is called Display Link Manager. So with native support for M1 Macs and more. So they actually went and updated this over the weekend. So it's a little bit old when it comes to news, but they updated this weekend. So now it actually does not screen tear when you use it with the brand new M1 chip. It's just, it's a little bit more, you know, as I said, native to the M1 chip. So we're going to see this more and more as, you know, more and more companies start natively making their actual um, applications toward M1, you know, and this is again, like I said before, Intel yesterday, this is them taking the L's because companies are now realizing, whoa, 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 there's a huge market right now with the M1 chips. And of course, this is just a really cool application that helps you out on your Mac, but this is like the step in the right direction to a point where everything is going to be fixed and perfected for these M1 chips. Now, I'm not saying, you know, obviously Intel has had things perfected for years. I mean, the 11th generation of their chips right now, but a little bit more updates for the M1. I can't wait to see how this ends up going in the future. And our last and final story today, guys, is the Apple Watch Series 5 and SE, as I mentioned a second ago. If you, if your Apple watch has broke because of this power reserve mode, get this Apple will fix it for free. I didn't stutter. They will fix something that is broken for you for free. What is this Apple? Is this Apple that we know? Is this the Apple I know and have dealt with my whole entire life? Because they never fix things for free. You broke the back screen of your glass on your phone, that's $100. You broke blank, 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 we don't care. It doesn't matter to us. Buy another product by us. We're premium. But Apple this time, I think they realized they messed up. And they will fix it for free if your uh, SE or iPhone, or I'm sorry, Apple Watch Series 5 is broken, it will actually fix your device for free guys tell me down below your thoughts and opinions of this video if you did enjoy it, make sure to like and subscribe down below apple news <laughs> i'll see you guys in the next one peace out